Hey guys, this is Tim from 313, and uh, we're going to go through some more uh, 2020 product here. Uh, I grabbed two hangers. It's Walmart restocked today, so I grabbed a few. Two hangers. I got three regular packs and three jumbo packs to go through today, and we're going to see if we can pull some, some of the top rookies. Uh, Jordan Alvarez, Bo Bichette, Gavin Lux, Jesus Lazardo, AJ Puck. Dustin May, guys like that. And let's get into it. I like the first series that uh, Topps put out. I'm not real crazy about the card design. I mean, the, the photos are really nice. Look at that, right off the bat. The very first card. Is it in good shape? Looks to be. The very first card is the top rookie. And we're going to sleeve that up right away. That's a nice hit right off the bat for the first card. Can't believe that. I'm going to sleeve him up. Pretty good luck right off the bat. Tap this down. But I am pretty stoked about uh, spring training getting started. We'll get a good look. Looks like we got a chrome turkey red coming in here. Looks like we got, there's a photo of the Invisible Man. That'll get a grade 10 for sure. Then we got a Clayton Kershaw. Hall of Fame bound, more than likely. Future star Ramon Laureano. Uh, Cole Calhoun. Garcia. What I'm talking about is I love the full bleed photos and the action shots. I just don't like this border here. And with the names sideways like that, why didn't they just put it at the bottom and uh, flip it up? Have the socks, just have it be upright so you can read the names. I mean, you can barely see Chicago White Sox there. But uh, the backs, I love the backs because they got the full stats, um, everything. I, I always love Tops by, for putting all of their career stats on there. And a lot of times they include their minor league stats too, which is great. But that's the back of the card there. This is Lurie Garcia. And we've got, these are regular packs here. This is Nicky Lopez. That's where we start to see a few rookies here coming up probably. There's Sean Doolittle, great closer. Daniel Mangdon, Zach Wheeler. Jermaine Marquez, Jake Lamb, and what do we got here? A Josh Bell. Nice turkey red chrome Josh Bell. We'll put that one aside. And uh, here's your Reese Hoskins insert card. Not crazy about it. There's a regular turkey red of Moncada. I am kind of collecting that set. I like the set. There's Jose Urquidy. Urquidy, 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 uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Urquidy, Jose Urquidy, that's a rookie card, we'll put that aside, um, he's not one of the top rookies, but uh, he's in there, there's George Springer, I haven't really talked about how I feel about the cheating of the Astros, I mean, I think it's a little too soon for me to go into it uh, do I think the players should be penalized for it part of me says yes part of me says no um, I mean Pete Rose didn't affect the game that bad did he um, I mean he should be in the hall if they're gonna do that then they should these players should be banned or or something because that's directly influences the outcome of games by cheating like that. So getting rid of the coaches and finding the teams, um, is that really going to solve the problem? Or are they just going to find more ways, secretive ways to do it? I mean, it shouldn't be done. They should have a little bit more uh, respect for the game than that, than what they did. But like I said, it's too soon. Um, I'm going to think about it a little while longer before I come up with my opinion, which really means nothing. But I love baseball, 
and I hate it when players hurt the game. So let's get let's continue here. There's Luis Garcia. There's an Austin Riley, one heck of a player. I'm looking forward to watching him play this year. There's Trevor Richards, uh, Kenta Maeda, who's sent over to the Twins, I believe, which the Twins are stacked this year. Uh, there's Aaron Hicks for the Yankees. There's one of my, there's Jacoby Jones. That'll go in my personal collection. Uh, let's give these a flip here. We've got Trey Turner. Jose Quintana. I mean, this is the base set for tops, I mean, and they're good looking full bleed cards. I just wish they would go back to having borders. Um, it's really hard to tell if anything's off center or not, which it kind of takes that away, which is fine. But I, I just borderless cards. I just, I don't know. I really like borders. I like the old style of baseball cards too, with the single pictures. Um, kind of like that. I mean, I like that kind of shot like that. But, uh, there's a Astros team card, Nationals, Armenteros, rookie. It's not one of the top rookies, but we'll see. There's another Hoskins card. And there's a Nixon Zell. There's a nice card. Um, looking forward to his season. Um, been hanging on to his rookie cards. I have several, a big stack of them, just waiting to see how he turns out. And... Uh, then we've got Anthony Santander. It's not a rookie. We've got one more of the regular retail packs from Walmart. And we'll get into the Series 1 Jumbo Packs. And we'll kind of compare them. These are the regular packs. There's your Cy Young Award winner. David Boat. Chris Archer. Jose Peraza. Jordan Zimmerman. I hope he has a better year than last year. He was 1 in 13. That was not the greatest signing for Detroit. Ah, uh, there's Toro. There's one of the rookies I was looking for. Um, Abraham Toro. That's one of the top rookies there. We're going to sleeve him up because we can. just happens that two of the top rookies turn out to be Astros. Although these guys, I doubt, had very, very much to do with the controversy. But uh, you never know. And I'll go there. Maybe we can get some last pack magic here. There's Adalberto Mondesi. Don't call me Raul. There's Jose Urena. Steven Strasburg. Uh, the retail packs, you won't find any of the uh, Super SP uh, alternate photo stuff. But you will find uh, other types, though. There's Mitch Haniger. I'm going to uh, focus there. Juan Soto, great player. Tim Anderson, another great player. A Mark McGuire, 86 card. That's a nice card. I like that put that one up. I do like the 85 cards. I keep calling them 86s. There's Christian Yelich, Turkey Red, David Dahl, and the last one is Alzale. He's a rookie, but it's not one of the top rookies. We're looking for Jordan Alvarez, uh, Bo Bichette, Gavin Lux, Jesus Lazardo, AJ Puck, Dustin May, Sean Murphy, Kyle Lewis, Brendan McKay, Zach Gallen, Jordan Yamamoto, Abraham Toro, Dylan Cease, and Sam Hillard are kind of the rookies I'm looking for that I think are going to pan out to be uh, good major league ball players. All right, let's get into the, this is my first jumbo pack I've gotten this year. Uh, I don't know uh, what kind of extra inserts you might get in there. Um, we'll look at the odds in a minute. But, uh, ooh, that card there is 
blasted that mic fires. And maybe it'll straighten out. No, it's creased. That's one of the problems with the jumbo packs. You get a lot of bent cards in them. But uh, there's Oscar Mercado, Future Stars, a Garrett Cooper, Brad Hand. Do the flip. We're going to do a David Agrizel, uh, Michael Givens, Starlin Castro. Try and get these to. There's Yamamoto. There's one of the rookies we're looking for. We'll sleeve him up. Uh, hopefully the Tigers can do better this year. Uh, also, they're coming up with a new system for the playoffs in possibly 2022 of having four teams. Uh, is it? Yeah, I believe. I mean, fourteen. A different way where they can play three games instead of a one game. Uh, there's El Zole. Put him here. What did I do? Mess up. I'm messing up. Here's the pack here. Uh, Nicholas. There's Johnny Cueto. Great pitcher when he was with the Reds. Robbie Grossman. There's a Bryce Harper home run. Oh, that's the uh, one of the home run card things. Okay. I'm going to scratch it off. Maybe I'll win. I doubt it. There's Glaber Torres. That's a nice card there. The 85. Glaber, Glaber Day. There's a Archer. Turkey Red. I guess we're getting a couple of Turkey Reds in here. Albert Pujols, which is nice. Hall of Famer. I like the Turkey Red set. I'm going to try and uh, collect that if I can. There's Michael Conforto, who's had a bomb season last year. Very underrated. You don't hear much about him. There's the Riz. Nick Pavetta. Derek Dietrich. Adam Frazier. Tommy Edmond, future star card, Josh Fegley, uh, Blake Parker, Wade Davis, Joey Votto, Stephen Matz, Mets team card, Twins team card, Andrew Benintendi, Cesar Hernandez, Anthony Santander again, and Mike Fires, the bent card. I'm not even going to put that in there. Cards feel really good. The card stock is not too flimsy. Um, like I said, I'm just not crazy about the borders. This, no borders this year. And the sideways panel. Um, they could have did better with that. I do like the backs of the cards. Because you can read the stats pretty easy. To me, it's about reading the cards and being able to identify the players. I know a lot of guys don't care about all they care about is autographs and making money, but I enjoy opening packs and getting players and being able to watch players play that I get on the cards. There's Tyler White, Dodgers. There's an RC. There's Dustin May. We were looking for that one. I just like to get the rookies. Um, if I get an autograph, it's a bonus. I'm not looking to make a ton of money on these cards. Um, if I happen to pull something really great that I can make some money on, I may get it. You know, I have a few cards that are in PSA right now getting graded, but uh, it was cards that I intended to do that with. So, what do you guys think of this set so far? I've bought a little bit of it so far. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I'm excited for baseball right now. I got that spring fever. There's Nico Horner, rookie card. That's another one we're kind of looking for. Although I didn't have him listed. I know about him. I 
I know most of these rookies don't pan out or they take a little bit to get going, but most of these guys are proven good players already. And they just need a full season to get under their belt. And there's Justin Turner, probably one of the, one of the best top 10 third basemen in the league. There's Aaron Hicks again. There's Samarja, Jeff Samarja. Mauricio Dubon, rookie card. Don't know much about him. There's Bryce Harper. That's a pretty cool looking card there. He's got the, the weird headband on. It's pretty sweet. And Kurt Suzuki. Dodgers team card. Christian Yelich, regular card. It's nice. Uh, Travis Demerit, rookie card. It'll go in my PC. Hopefully he has a good year this year. Is Enrique Hernandez. Doing a karate kick. There's Reese Hoskins. Why did they pick Reese Hoskins for a debut or a feature card? I don't know. There's a Bryce Harper. Um, it's the rookie card. Top's choice. 2008 rookie card. That's pretty cool. And then we get the Turkey Reds coming up. We got Gavin Bijo. Nice card. And Jacob DeGrom. I did not have those two. So whenever I get I get excited when I get a couple that I need for the set. That's nice. Joey Lucchesi. Cody Bellinger. That's his base card there. Ryan Braun. Hanser Alberto. Kenny Giles for Toronto. And we got things are going every which way. There's Tyler Glass now. Excellent pitcher for the race. You say Kikuchi, hopefully he can get his uh, season turned around this. Mike Soroka is just a one hell of a pitcher for the Braves. He's, uh, domination. Team card Cubs. Team card for the Socks, I guess. Is that the team card? Southside infielders. Steven Strasburg, World Series card. Is this thing going to focus anytime soon? There we go. We got Orlando Arcia. Jesse Winker. There's a Pete Alonzo. That's a nice cut card there. Put that one aside for now. It's a second year car, but I just we're gonna keep an eye on that guy. He's gonna be uh, one hell of a ball player. If well, he is already. There's Kyle Schwarby. There's Hector Neris. One more fat pack, and then we're getting into the hanger boxes. I think the best value is probably these. Here is the fat packs I think you get for for the price. I think they're five something, and you get a lot more cards for bang for your buck. But uh, as far as inserts, things like that, I like the hanger boxes. I think the hanger boxes got the best value, as a matter of fact. But I think you have more chances to hit some good inserts out of the. Uh, jumbo packs. Here's Brad Hand, which I see him at the front of packs a lot. Probably four or five packs I've opened. I've had him at the beginning. There's Agrizal. Um, he's a rookie. Not one of the top rookies. There's Rafael Iglesias. Anthony Rendon, regular card. That's nice. Albert Almora. Of course, we know Rendon was traded. And then we've got Asus Aguilar. And Jorge Alfaro is now with the Marlins. Liam Hendricks, an excellent closer. A relief pitcher. Kurt Suzuki again. Dodgers team. Another Yelich. 
Travis Demerit again. We're getting a lot of repeats. Here's another Tiger. Do I have it yet? I've already got that one too. Here's your Hoskins. There's a Decades card. This is who? Can't read that. Oh, it's Nico Horner. Nice. Rookie card. Rookie card insert. I'll sleeve that up. It's kind of nice that they're doing that. Yeah, a little short printed rookie card. A little bit of a short print anyway. And sleeve here. Need a hard case. Top loader. And that's not stuck together. kind of cool that they're doing that with the rookies uh with this subset decades next 2020 nico horner nice card that's a nice pull there now who we got here in our turkey reds bueller walker bueller that's one i didn't have and i didn't have this one nice one Probably one of the better ones I need right now. That's going to get sleeved up to Jordan Alvarez, rookie, turkey red. I'd like to hit a chrome one, it would be nice. So that's a, a couple of uh, Alvarez cards we got. Rookie of the year last year, so obviously. Can't be Rookie of the Year two years in a row. But it's strange to have a cup card and a rookie. And doesn't happen very often in tops cards. There's Sandy Alcantara. All-star last year. Francisco Lindor. This is regular card. First time looking at that. It's a nice, nice looking picture there. Jose Barrios. Luke Jackson. Mario Kelly, Kenny Giles again, Tyler Glass now again, Yusei Kikuchi again. These are kind of running the same way. There's Wade Davis, Joey Votto, Mats. It's the same pack as last time. Twins. Oh, I'm knocking stuff over. I've really got to get a new table. This table is just too small for me. At least I didn't lose the uh, cards I was looking at. And let's go through the last ones here. Ian Kinsler, Barnes, and Jake Arrieta. All right, let me clear these out of the way so I don't knock them over. The stack's getting a little too big. Time to clean house and get into the hangar box. Let me get some more of these turkey reds. I really like that set, so I'm gonna try and try and collect the turkey red set. I have to look and see how big that set is. I imagine it's pretty big. Hopefully, it's not every single player in the set, which I don't think it is. Well, this box here is glued together pretty hard. Cleared out, ready to roll. Looks like we got some pretty, uh, looks like we got uh, a couple inserts in there. See, so we got some turkey reds in there. You can tell by the brown color cards. Maybe we'll get a chrome. Maybe we'll get an auto. I'd really like to get an auto out of retail. Doesn't happen very often. But it has happened. There's Justin Turner. We've already pulled him. Oscar Mercado. Garrett Cooper. Brad Hand. These guys, nothing, nothing. Josh Bell, nothing we haven't seen already. 
There's Jorge Polanco, great player for the Twins. Domingo Santana. Evan Longoria. Jordan Zimmerman again. And there's Toro, another Toro. We'll hang on to that. And we got Raul Mondesi. Jose Urini. Amir Garrett. Eduardo Rodriguez. Ryan Presley is another great relief pitcher. There's Trent Gresham. Kurt Suzuki. Lost the Dodgers team. Christian Yelich again. We're running into that same string of players again. Another demerit. Johnny Cueto. Here's another one of those home run challenge cards. I don't know what those are all about. There's Aaron Nola. Here, Reese Hoskins. A couple of those. And, oh, nice. Got a Fernando Tatis, 1987 style tops guard, which is pretty strange. Oh, that's the tops choice. Very cool. I like that. I'm going to have to sleeve that up. He is my favorite player right now. There's Matt Chapman. That's a nice one. And Yasiel Puig, Turkey Red. And there's a puck from the. You're going to have to sleeve these up. Who was first? Fernando. I do like these cards uh, a lot. The older style, like the 87 Tops wood cards, wood grain border cards. Now see how those are? Now see the border's off a little bit, but that's what makes it neat. You find one that's perfectly centered, you know, that doesn't mean you're going to find every single one's going to be perfect. Um, it makes the values of the cards go up and makes it a little bit harder to uh, find. And you can really appreciate a Gem 10 Mint or a 9.5 BGS um, graded card. But uh, Fernando Titis, what a nice card that is. And then, uh, man, I'm just making a mess over here. I'm going to have to set this up different. The turkey reds always stick together for some reason. They're hard to get apart. But uh, this puck card here is one of the rookies I'm looking for. So he's getting sleeved up. AJ Puck. There's actually three Oakland A's rookie cards in this set that are in the top rookies. And there's a uh, Freddie Freeman. It's nice I didn't have that one. Or the Chris Sale. So that's some more turkey reds I didn't have. Uh, Cody Bellinger, base card, Braun, Alberto, Conforto, Anthony Rizzo, Pavetta. We're running into a lot of doubles. Matt Stram, Nolan Arenado, Malik Smith, Jacoby Jones again, Trey Turner, Quintana, Paxton. And we've got an RC of Dylan Cease. That's one we're looking for, too. Um, these are all guys that I'm putting aside just to keep an eye on to decide whether to invest or not. is Omar Neveas, Reese McGuire, Tim and Yolmer, Steven Strasberg, Orlando Arcia, Wade Davis, Joey Vato, Steven Matz, Team Card with the Mets, the Twins, JT Riddle, And Shane Bieber. Here's an RC of Austin Nola. And 
Jesse Winker, Pete Alonzo, Cup Card, Kyle Schwarber, and Naris. And these seem to be, the collation is running pretty much the same. And we got one more of these. One more hanger box to go. Give me some magic. I spent, I spent basically 50 bucks on these cards. Um, as far as value, I think it's kind of worth it. Because if I was to sell these cards, I could easily make my money back. Easily. Um, even if I sold them at like three, four bucks a piece, you know, on some of them, I would make my money back. And I haven't even got into this one yet. And some of these may be worth maybe $14, $15. Um, we'll check. See if I can pull a materials card out of here. Uh, autograph would be nice. Looks like we got more turkey reds. Maybe something chromey in there, maybe. Something decent, I hope. There's one of the top players in the game, Ronald Acuna Jr., Mitch Garver, Chris Davis, Ahmed Rosario. One hell of a player, had a great season last year. Andrew Kashner, Jacob deGrom, David Boat, Henley Jansen. There's Gavin Lux, he's one of the rookies we're looking for. Uh, they're talking about Dodgers probably will start him at second base this year. Been stacking up on his cards. I am pretty much done with the first series. Other than Turkey Reds that I'm trying to get. Uh, I have to get the list and make sure how many there are. If there's like too many, I'm just going to give up. But there's Ryan Yarborough, Lewis Brinson, Alex Young, Austin Hedges, Aaron Hicks again, Jeff Samarja, Mauricio Dubon again, Yomer Sanchez, Zach Collins, that's a good rookie card. Uh, not worth the sleeve, though. I did pull uh, his Bowman draft um, cards. Matt Carpenter. There's Greg Kimbrell. Brewers team. Father like son. There's the Bichettes. Kevin Biggio. Asmani Grandel. I have yet to pull the Beau Bichette yet. I need one. There's a Chris Bryant Chrome. It's a nice card. Um, the Hoskins cards. And I pulled a Loriano. Probably not the best one you can pull out of that. And look at there, a Sandy Koufax. Nice. I do like that one. 86 style Sandy Koufax. I haven't pulled any numbered cards yet. There's Ozzy Albies. Otani. Nice turkey red. These ones I haven't had. There's Pete Alonzo. Sweet turkey red. And Rafael Devers. Hopefully I've got quite a few of them. Just I'm going to have to look at and see how many there is in the set. If anybody knows, you can let me know in the comments. There's Brian Abreu. Miguel. It's a nice Miguel card. Hopefully he has a better year. Hopefully he uh, gets in good shape. There's Tyler Alexander. The Tigers, a rookie card. I'll have to hang on to that. Haven't pulled that yet. Daniel Murphy. Bobby Bradley, rookie card. Andrew Haney. There's a puck regular card. We're going to hang on to that. Sleeve it up. Let's 
It's a lefty, big lefty. The A's just keep pulling these great players. And uh, they're just in the thick of the race every time. I think uh, Billy Bean's just got a really good system going on over there with his money ball. His money ball seems to be paying off every year. He just can't quite get to the World Series, though. That's uh, Sandy Alcantara, Paul Goldschmidt, J.P. Crawford, Kevin Pillar, Kyle Lewis. That's one of them we're looking for right there. And hopefully these guys pan out. Um, they won't all pan out, but usually a good portion of them will. There's Bubba Starling, rookie, J.D. Martinez. He hits dangers. There's Brad Keller. Managed to pull the autograph of him. There's Annabelle Sanchez. Got him a ring, finally. It's former Tiger. And there's Marwin Gonzalez, Strasburg, Hanniger, Juan Soto World Series card, Tim Anderson, Jose Abreu, Labor Torres, Garrett Cole, Greg Caleb Smith, Scherzer, I like that World Series. Got him a ring, finally. There's Brandon Woodruff. Nelson Cruz. Yohan Mancata. Who's this? Okay. Fran Mill Reyes. David Dahl. El Zale, rookie card. And Yuli Guriel. And that's it. That's all we got. Let's go back over our rookies and hits. We got the Kyle Lewis we wanted, the Puck, the Lux, the Cease. We got the Puck Turkey Red. We got a Fernando Tatis. Nice rookie card there. Or it's not his rookie, but nice uh, collector's choice card. Got the Alvarez Turkey Red rookie card, which is awesome. Pulled another good uh, Nico Horner Decades Best card, which is nice. And the regular Nico Horner. We got the Dustin May with the carrot top hair. Jordan Yamamoto with the Marlins. We got the Abraham Toro, a couple of them. And... Jordan Alvarez. So, nice job on the uh, on the polls this time. I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, that's all I got for you tonight. You guys let me know what you think about the new playoff system they're thinking about doing in a couple years. And also, let me know what you think about 